Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going to do a fun little experiment with hair dye that is not hair dye, it's actually shampoo. So recently I've been super duper into this website, like honestly, out of nowhere, I discovered this website from a co-worker of mine, shout out to Dustin. Um, he told me about this company called uh, imagebeauty.com and that it was like a discount uh beauty supply site um so that's where i got my blow dryer by hot tools and i got uh some ag hair care and um hair dye as well but um something that i saw when i subscribed to their uh email list or whatever uh when i made an account was that they, they were advertising this thing called tressa watercolor intense shampoo and so this comes in seven colors red pink teal green blue violet and silver let's say someone always dyes their hair teal and they want to keep their hair teal so instead of shampooing their hair to wash their hair the, the water is going to rinse it out they're shampooing their hair with shampoo that is actually hair dye based and that will keep the color in because you're adding deposit to it um, as the existing dye is already washing out but will it work on a blank canvas i realized i was like maybe this would work on silver hair to just kind of show a little bit of color just by shampooing the hair i've accumulated questions that i'm asking before i actually do the experiment so actually on the label it does say um maintains plus creates hair color so i have today these three i have the green the silver and the teal um and so i'm going to use these and just kind of test out these questions right here can it be applied dry? Does it come out in one wash with or without shampoo? Does it stain the skin, bathtub, or clothes? Does color bleed when wet? Um, which means basically, am I safe to walk out in the rain with it? Are the colors true? So um, it, does the silver really look like silver or does it look like blue or purple? I'm going to shampoo this one into my ends. I'm going to try this one out on my dry hair to see if it actually stays uh, in one little strand. And then uh, this one I'm going to use on just like uh, a section of my hair just to see if it matches the rest of it. Also, um, if you guys were wondering, I have a discount code for uh, imagebeauty.com if you want to use the code jellyfish you can uh, have about, I think, 15% off. It might be different, I'm not sure. But go to the description and click on the link for Image Beauty and purchase your stuff today using my code. All right, so I have my piece isolated. Something else I actually noticed is I feel like this doesn't even have that many ingredients. Also, um, it's no parabens, no salts, no sulfates, and no peroxides. Um, so the directions is apply to wet hair, Lather for two to three minutes, rinse, one shampoo deposits pastel color. For intense color, shampoo additional times to create the color intensity you want. Best results on pre-lightened hair. So I have pre-lightened hair. What you want is at least highlights or some bit of your hair to be lifted um, to somewhat of a blonde color. The whiter blonde it is, the more true the color will show. Whoa. <gasps> it smells nice like it smells kind of fresh oh, okay so um first off my my question of does it stain skin um i can already see it kind of staining my finger but i'm not sure if it's going to stay stained like that so applying this on dry hair uh really is a big part of the experiment because the directions specifically say do this on wet hair um, but you're also supposed to lather it in because it is shampoo and you put shampoo on wet hair so um, I'm really curious to see if this will stick and honestly my um okay so that's a very vibrant piece I would say this is definitely a true teal um, so it definitely uh, checks off 
the question of is the color true to what it says. Um, I'm still going to test out the purple one though, or um, the silver one to see if it's purple or if it's a true silver. Um, I have a lot of experience using different silver shampoos, silver dyes, and silver toners. I've been running my own undocument, well, somewhat undocumented experiments um, on all of those. I've collected a ton of different brands of silver dyes. Um, I was planning on making a video about it, but it's just so complex that I don't even think I'll be able to get to it. Um, but this will be really nice to add to the collection because silver shampoo is pretty interesting. Um, I will say upon opening the silver shampoo bottle, it does look literally purple. And the purple is because if you look at the color wheel, when you bleach hair, it turns yellow. If you put purple on top of yellow, purple is on the opposite side of the color wheel, which means purple cancels out yellow, and it makes it gray. And that's how we get silver. But my hair is already silver, so if we put purple shampoo on my already silver hair, it'll probably turn purple, right? So I'm probably just going to put some on a strand over here and see if it actually does or does not. It's actually pretty hard to press down. Ugh. Ow. Yep. This is pure purple. And if you guys have ever seen Shimmer Light's purple shampoo or the... Um, there are literally so many purple shampoos. I think I have four different types of brands of purple shampoo actually and um now i have another one um this one is definitely a lighter pigment because silver does require a bit of a lack of pigment because it's such a light tone so um it's interesting because this is definitely shampoo it's like lathering up as i kind of stroke it into the hair shaft I'm sure that as soon as I uh, wash my hands, it's all going to come off. So I'm kind of leaning on no, it will not stain the um, skin. But I do also think that, you know, when you're shampooing your hair in the shower, there might be globs of shampoo that get stuck on the wall or get stuck somewhere on the side of the tub and it doesn't get rinsed off. Uh, I know this because I, I do this with hair dye, and then sometimes it'll stay there for so long that when you wipe it away, finally, after you find it, um, it leaves a stain on the white, the white tub. So, that's something to be careful about. I actually do think, uh, just seeing the consistency and seeing the actual formula in my hand of these, um, colors, uh, I would definitely be careful with that but it's not going to stain it permanently because even with the semi-permanent dyes that I have this isn't even semi-permanent but it's um I think it's like along the lines of semi-permanent dyes I just I think this is a really cool product I know a lot of my uh, fans and, and viewers and uh, friends even just would love to dye their hair colors but they just can't because it's too committing to like a color and you have to talk your parents into it if you're younger um it can be expensive sometimes because you have to keep on getting it retouched so i would say if you just lighten your ends or if you already have blonde hair or you just have some highlights put into your hair using a purple shampoo or a blue shampoo or a teal or a pink shampoo even red just shampoo your hair with this color and you have dyed hair. Like, I just think that's so cool. I think on the website these are like $20. Um, it's actually pretty good. This is eight and a half ounces of shampoo right here. I'm going to go to the shower and rinse this out. And while I'm in the shower, I'm going to test um, the in-shower experience of shampooing this into the ends of my hair to see if it really sticks. Alright guys, so this is the next morning. I shampooed it in just to like these parts right here. 
Um, I left it in for like a good, like I did it in the beginning of my shower, I took the rest of my shower washing my face, uh, brushing my teeth and doing everything else that I needed to do and then I rinsed this out in the very end. Um, I actually, I tried something uh, this morning, so um, there was the blue streak, or it was a teal streak here, and I actually, I forgot to show it on the camera. It was, um, in comparison, it was kind of like a teal like this, like it was very, very light, and it wasn't even that vibrant, it was a very pale pastel uh, teal color. Um, I wanted to see how well it would come out with clarifying shampoo. Clarifying shampoo is shampoo that um, strips out everything from your hair, all the product buildup, color, anything. Um, so the best example would be uh, head and shoulders because that takes out hair color like in just a few washes. But um, it actually does come out pretty well. I'm sorry I forgot to show what it looked like beforehand. Um, maybe I'll do another another uh, test and then show you guys what it looks like but on the other side I had the silver I think it just washed out in the shower because it was so light but um, I compared it to the rest of my hair last night when it happened and I realized it's actually a very perfect silver it's so light of a purple pigment that it just left behind a very nice silver even on my already silver hair it was not too harsh so I was super happy with that, and I think it's like my new favorite purple shampoo, well, silver shampoo. Um, and the green, as you can see, it's pretty vibrant, but that's because I left it in for a very long time. Um, I would definitely say I actually think that using it on wet hair is definitely better, as it is recommended, but um, it's just not something you should use as on dry hair because I think the whole effect of it really sticking to the hair well is when you lather it up and it gets kind of soapy and kind of like uh, with all the little bubbles in it it just really gets into the hair so much better like that um, so my conclusion is I think this is an awesome product uh, as you could see in the in this footage right here that um, I filmed in the shower I dropped a little bit of the green on the floor of the shower and I let it sit there for a little while um, and then I filmed myself wiping it away <laughs> with my foot um, and it does not stain the tub. Also while letting this uh, lay on my hair, I, it, I laid it on my collarbones while I was taking the rest of my shower just to see if it would stain my skin and it doesn't. I didn't even scrub, I didn't use soap there, um, I just wanted to see if it would stain anything and it doesn't. Uh, my hands are also clean, they don't look Okay, they look a little green. You can't exactly tell, but I can tell if I kind of look at my hands, but it's so unnoticeable. But this is a process I think it will fade out if I don't use it every other wash or so, um, but I think that's also the beauty of it. I can it be applied dry? Does it come out in one wash with or without shampoo? Does it stain the skin, bathtub, or clothes? Does color bleed when wet? Um, which means, basically, am I safe to walk out in the rain with it? Are the colors true? So, um, it, does the silver really look like silver, or does it look like blue or purple? And let it fade out very easily. Uh, and it's just so perfect for like a very pastel effect. If you have white hair, just put it on, and it's just a very nice pastel thing. And you don't have to work really hard at diluting a really pigmented dye and put it on your hair, only for it to last like two days. Um, so I think this product is amazing. You could definitely check it out on their website at Image Beauty. Um, on the note of bright hair colors, I have a new friend named Julia Zelg, Zelg, I think she, or I'll just put a, her channel right here. She is a YouTuber that does very similar videos to me. She makes videos about fashion and style and bright hair. Uh, she also talks about LGBT stuff. She also sings and she contacted me asking if I would check out some of her music and I did and I really liked it. So I just wanted to show you guys her new music video. Um, this music video just released a few days ago and I I was just gonna ask you guys to go check it out for her because um, it's like actually really catchy. I was listening to it and then it was stuck in my head in the shower. Um, but it just kind of has this really nice like goth sort of 
it's just like super mystical and cool sounding and then along with her fashion style it's just super awesome so even if you don't want to listen to the music check out her um like fashion videos like she's pastel goth with like alternative fashion and bright hair and she does awesome makeup i'm going to provide a link at the end of this video and you can check um her music links in the description as well i really appreciate you guys watching my videos if you would like to check out the video of me uh showing off my halloween outfits that i put together for halloween um you can click the video that will show at the end here um it's it's the first lookbook that i was ever able to get out and i'm really happy with it like this video if you like it, subscribe to me if you haven't, and comment below anything you would like. Thank you so much for watching. Stay epic everyone. Bye!